I have too many games. At least I think I do. Like just being realistic, I don't think I'm gonna get around to playing them and there's too many. My collection used to be like times two this, maybe times three, like eight years ago, but I sold most of it. I sold probably like 90% of it. Um, and like there's a games here I thought about playing, but I'm not gonna get around to playing them. So I'm gonna cull some of these. I've made a start on this bottom row here already. Made some choices. So Crash Bandicoot. I'm not huge on Crash Bandicoot in general in the series. Never. I didn't grow up with it. But I would keep like the kart racing games. Uh, so damage. This was like an early release. I remember on GameCube kind of wanting it. But the reviews weren't too good. And I finally got around to playing it. And it is not very good. <laughs> True Crime. I've got it. I'm playing through it at the moment on an Xbox. And generally... When it's PS2 or Xbox, the Xbox version will run better. Same with PS3 and 360. So that's why I'm getting with that one. This looked cool. i never, never seen it before. Shifters. Uh, I think I brought it and it was cheapish. And I looked it up and it's got really bad reviews. I didn't, haven't got around playing it. And I don't think I will. If I just keep the games that I'm like, oh, I was playing a little bit, then get rid of them. It's not realistic. There's SOCOM 1 and 2. I was going to get three as well, but they're not really my kind of games. This was a weird one that was in before called Endgame. This is a light gun game, and I don't have light guns. So that's going. So is this. This is a light gun game as well. So you're going. Warriors of Mind Magic. This uh, had pretty bad reviews, so I don't need it. But yeah, Supercars, I don't care about them. I love X-Men, but I don't like fighting games, and I do not like this game. It's Stone Duck, I don't care for it. It's Cars, I'd probably get more modern Cars game if I really had to. This is another example of like, kind of like True Crime, except it's on 360, so why not get the next gen version? It would be way better, which I would like to do. Um, that game kind of plays itself, I don't like too much. Mafia is on PC, plus I don't like the series that much. And just like Crash Bandicoot, I don't really like Spyro. People may be upset with that. Spongebob, you know, I don't care about keeping a Spongebob game. Uh, we'll clearly go through these. Reckless, I had some pretty bad reviews, so I'm like, I don't care about it. I don't like Stealth, but this uh, does work in Series X. So I was like, oh, maybe I keep it, but I was like, no, I won't get around to it. How has been released so many times. This is the bad Hulk game. My intention was to play this like probably five hours max and then play the good Hulk game, Ultimate Destruction, but I haven't gotten there yet. These are on next gen, Carbon and Most Wanted. I think they're on 360, but I am going to keep Underground 1 and 2. Definitely Underground 2, because it's like my favorite, and I might as well keep one, I guess. Another not so good X Men game, Random Batman Lego. I've got 1, 2, and 3 on PC though, and a. Real time strategy on console, I don't think I need that. The PS1 games, just Worms World Party. Worms have been re released so many times. And the Silent Hill 3 soundtrack, which was a grad style find for like a dollar. <clears throat> Alright, so let's make our way through here. This would be interesting looking back um, in the future and be like, oh man, those games worth so much. Just, but even though game prices right now are crazy, like some of these are worth a lot. There's like Heart Gold, the Poker Walker, Advanced Wars 3 and 4, Ghost Trick, Pokemon Black, Pokemon White 2, Majora's Mask I would like to play one day, I don't actually play it for. Pokemon Gold, and then some not so good ones. Anyway, so this wipeout's really damaged. It's not worth that much. I kind of just think, yeah. It's okay. Crash Team Racing. I like Spider-Man a lot. Gran Turismo. I don't mind. I like these older ones. One of these is missing a disc. There's supposed to be two discs each. So here, Aggressive Inline. I love Aggressive Inline. Which, like, I like it so much. I probably won't keep Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I didn't grow up playing it. And I grew up playing Aggressive Inline. And I'm very, very familiar with it. And I really enjoy it. So Tony Hawk's is going. We got Burnout 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm missing Dominator, which I would like to get. The problem with these 
dominated the PSP port, and it's only on PS2 and PSP. Which means then for the 360, what have I got? I've got one and two, ah, three, sorry. Um, and they have graphical problems on 360, I think. And I can't even have the full series, the full set of the, all the games of this generation because of Dominator, but I know I kind of want to keep a bit of both. Uh, Deadly Skies, this has like some different name in America. It's like Delta, Delta Squad something. It kind of looks like it might be okay. I've heard the story is decent. Now this is like gets a bit tricky here. Destroy humans. I think it's a strange developer. This has been this has got a remake or a remaster or something. So I don't think I need it. It's gonna be a maybe. Driver. If I could get the 360 version, that'd be killer. I'd sell a PS2 one. Some cool Dragon Ball Z Burkai one and three. That's all I got so far. Futurama. That's a a keep. It's sort of um. Because season one, it got cancelled after season one. So this is like a season 1.5 in a way. Not worth much in Australia. It's worth like 25-ish, I'm guessing. Um, America is worth heaps more. This is apparently not very good. Now, I got some sabers for like 8 bucks, And I'm like, I know it's profitable for 8 It sells for like 30 I think. Maybe it's gone down by now. Um, so I'm like, hey, it's profitable to buy it. And then I end up keeping it. So I started collecting again. But it's a fighting game, and I don't like fighting games, so that's a sell. Grinch is only four of a nice white case, awesome. This is the same problem with Burnout here. We've got GTA 3, Liberty City Stories, Vice City, Vice City Stories. Of course, the Stories ones are PSP ports, and they are not on Xbox. But then it gets worse. Uh... Uh, San Andreas, for example, is backwards compatible on Xbox One, but it will play the 360 version, which is a port of the mobile version. So it's like, why? Why is this so difficult? It's like they want you to buy the game again, isn't it? And San Andreas, of course. If I get the non-re-release Platinum versions, I would. Well, if I come across them, I'm not in any hurry. Gun. This is easily, this is like, a re, I really like this game, but it, this is on 360, so I should get the 360 version. And it's also X rental, so it's upgradable, but I really like Gun, so I'm going to hold on to it for now. Got some Harry Potter games. We've got Prisoner of Azkaban and the Half Blood Prince. I think the first one's worth the most. So that's like, what, three and four, I think, or three and five. And then Xbox, I got Chamber of Secrets, which is two. And then Goblet of Fire, which is, I have no idea what number that one is. Now, these James Bond games, these aren't backwards compatible on 360. And I've got Nightfire and Age of Undercover. My favorite one is Everything, Everything for Nothing, which I think I've got on GameCube, ah, which is, I really like that one the most. Um, See, I'm not sure. I don't know how these run on backwards compatible PS3s. I'll have to look it up. Wait, if I only got enough, I got under fire on PS2. Damn. These are definitely keeps. I haven't played through them yet though. Jack and Daxter 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, the spin off of the racing one. So they're keeps, plus I purchased them, they're a bit pricey. They're off eBay. Lord of Rings, looking to try and get the whole trilogy. Just got two and three at the moment. And mm, I'm assuming they're better on Xbox. Have I even got them? Let's see. Oh, I got the exact same ones. For the Return of the King and the Two Towers. So I got two and three. So I'm missing number one on either one. And then I think there's like maybe a spin-off or two. Manhunt, that's worth quite a bit. That's awesome. Also on Xbox. Marvel Ultimate Lights. I like these kind of games. These dungeon crawlers. Not dungeon crawlers. What are they called? Beat em ups. So there's this one. Uh, 
Ultimate Alliance. I should check if it's on 360 and PS3, because then there's also Ultimate Alliance 2. And then similarly, there's X-Men Legends. If I get X-Men Legends 2, that'd be awesome. That's probably better on, they're probably better on PC, but I think they play good on console. You don't have to, it's not like a first one shooter. If it's first one shooter, it's going to be better on console. I mean, like Club 3, that's a definite key. Probably on Xbox, I think it might be, but it seems to be easy to find PS2 games. I only I played this recently for the first time. Um, it is quite odd. It's strange because it's Bungie and Rockstar. Very strange. Pretty decent animation and like weird movements. Atlet Volleyball Remixed. I assume this is worth something because of the bikinis. So I picked it up. Now, this is again another tricky one. Like Prince Persia, Sense Time. I've got one and two. And that's it. And then on Xbox, let's see. Nothing. No, no Prince Persia. So I'm missing three. And then there's the Rival Swords, which I don't know. I think it's on Wii, but maybe it's on other things. And then there's like this one, the Cell Shade one. And then there's this other one. And then there's this one, which is like some movie looking one. It's tricky. Um, I'm going to hold on to them. I had Warrior Within on GameCube when I was younger, when it first came out. Like, smashed through it. Quite enjoyable. Project Snowblind. I need to look this up. That might be on PC. Ratchet and Clank. One, two, three, four. In size matters. That one's expensive as PSP port. They're all keeps, definitely. Now, Simpsons. I can probably part with this one. It's not very good. And I, I like aggressive inlines, so you can go. Road Rage is not too good, honestly. Hmm. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll sell it. No, nah, it's gone. I just got this. It's not too great. I really wanted Rogue Leader um, 2 and 3. And someone has them on Facebook for like 90 bucks on GameCube, which I might I might get, might not. I probably shouldn't. Not right now. Soul Calibur 3, that's a really good game. Heaps of content. It's a fighting game, but I actually do like it. Spider-Man, I really like Spider-Man games. So, Friend of Foe, that's a keep. So is, uh... Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Spider-Man, Web of Shadows, that's a keep as well. I had, I actually had all of them on PS3, and I sold them during the start of Corona. COVID. Um, like, my video game collection was... But I sold, it was double this, at least, but I sold 90% of it, like... Eight years ago, so oh well. SSX, the first one. I really like three, and I think two. So I'll keep one and try and get the rest. Someone at two. I looked up reviews. It's quite well received. So hold on to that. This is like a Smash Brothers clone, but it's um, the Ninja Turtles. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. I saw like a tiny bit of gameplay of this. And it kind of looks cool, so that's a keep. I had it on eBay for ages, a little bit of interest, but no one wanted to pay up. I wanted like 35, 38. This is one of my newest purchases, Ultimate Spider-Man. I'm like, oh my God, I actually found it in the wild. Uh, this was from Cash Converters though, and it was like 39 bucks. And the disc, it didn't work. It wouldn't play you know, made by Treyarch or show Activision or anything. And then I cleaned it with a microfiber disc and water. Then it almost got to the main menu. And then I used the microfiber cloth and this stuff, uh, turtle wax, remove stubborn stains and heavy oxidation. 
to achieve a clean, clean smooth finish. I used that, got some main menu, did the first few, few missions, and all good. So I would like to play through that. I would like an Xbox, preferably, but this is how it is. I used to have this um, RPG, and I didn't get too far through it. But I used to had it, I had it like 15 years ago, so now I've got it again. So I'm going to hold on to it. Because the space I'm getting is way better. Battlestar Galactica, I really like Battlestar Galactica, the TV show, so I would like to play the game. I probably, I know it's not probably a heaps good, but it's fine. Black, that goes on Xbox, um, has upgrades on, uh, incompatible for Xbox Series X, so I'll keep it. Uh, Blink, I wouldn't mind playing through. Brute Force, I'll probably play a little bit and get rid of it. Uh, Burnout 1 and 3, I'll hold on to. This so much to the last race. GDAs, I'll keep. Hack Prize, I'll keep for now. Uh, Fable's tricky. I think there's like a 360 version, but it didn't get very good reviews, so I don't know what's going on with it. Like, did they fuck up or what? I don't know. James Bonds, I'll keep for now. Lord of the Rings keep. Metal Gear Solid, I want to keep. I just purchased that. It was a nice find, but it's probably been re-released and it's probably better. It's, there's probably some re-release and it's probably better. I think there's like a, a 360 one that's got like maybe the trilogy or maybe less. I'm not sure. Midtown Mountains to keep. My favourite Need for Speed is Underground 2. So I might keep one. Nightcast I want to play. Odd World I don't care about, but it's Xbox Series X compatible. Sims Hint Run is the best Simpsons game. And it's a crazy taxi clone, not a GTA clone, because people always get that, get it wrong. Again, I like Spider-Man. We'll keep, I'm keeping one and two. This is Series X compatible. Not 360 compatible. So I brought it, and I can't fucking play it. And True Crime, I'm playing, I'm like one third through this one. So I would like to play that, and then play that one. And this I'm going to keep. Okay. So they're like the ones I've sort of gone through already. Where to go from here? I'm thinking the top row. Wait, let's move these. So Cell Pile, Simpsons Drug Rage, Skateboarding, Godzilla, and Tony Hawk's. Oh, so starting at the top here, these are all my latest purchases. We've got oh, this Sun, Ratchet and Clank, Until Dawn, The Order, Infamous 3, The Expansion, and Diablo. I kind of want to upgrade this. There's another version that has the two expansions and the base game. This is one expansion and the base game. So if I upgrade that, preferably on Xbox. I don't have a PS4. Sorry, I can't even play them. I'm thinking again Xbox Series X. So these are some games I've wanted to play. Um, I don't really care about Gears of War, but this rare replay stuff I'm kind of interested in. And uh, I wouldn't mind playing the Crackdown games. I should check if they're um, on PC. They probably are. So if there's any Lego games I'm probably going to keep, it's probably be Jurassic Park kind of ones. Because my girlfriend likes Jurassic Park. This I would like to play through. Being an exclusive as well, or at least playing through a little bit. Prince of Persia, I like, so that's I'll keep. Now, see, prototype, keep. Star Wars Original Trilogy. Do I really need this? See, I really just want like spaceship stuff. I don't really want that kind of stuff. Like, Stuntman, do I need Stuntman? Hmm. You know what? I don't need these two. That's been re released. Those guys, I'm probably not going to get around to playing it, you know. They were maybes because I had them sticking out a little bit and I forgot to check. Some of this, I'll check Project Snowblind as well. Uh, I'm going to approach up some PC. But it'd probably be nice to play on console. Or I guess play on PC and check a controller in. Anyway, Stuntman. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it for now. I think I've got it on... Uh, yeah, i got it on PS3. So most games will run better on 360, even though PS3 is more powerful, but it's just too hard to 
it's just the architecture and the cell process and the CPUs and all that crap. It was just made too hard for developers. So that one's a cell. Oh, we're here. This is a cell. I've got a. I've got the non-release version, non-re-release. And this is a cell. I don't like fighting games. Hopefully, I didn't overpay for it. Um, what's my saying? These are all new purchases here. Resistance one, two, three from the developers of Ratchet and Clank. Killzone two and three, and you get Killzone one. I don't think I'm gonna like these too much. This is kind of dumb. Okay, game. This I would like to upgrade to the 360 version and the Game of Year edition because it's got Xbox Series X enhancements. So I'm just going to hold on to it for now though. All these Ratchet and Clank, they cost me a pretty penny. There's my Pacific Rift, but the non release version, non re release. I got Grand, Tur Grand Turismo 6, right? And then I'm also like, I got Trans Grand Turismo 5. Do I need 5 and 6 and 4 and 1 and 2? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I looked at reviews. They kind of went downhill with... Um, that was like always online stuff on the PS4, I think. So I'm going to keep... I might keep 5 and 6. This I don't really need. That's not my kind of thing. Hopefully I didn't overpay for it. Alright. So these are all keeps. That's a keep because I like that kind of game. Although I would probably upgrade to the 360 version. I like X-Men. That's a keep. Uncharted. Eh. Uh, I don't need it, but it's going to stay here for now. It did get re-released. This version can stay. This, this game is so dead. I hate these games that rely on the players making stuff. Because then when the servers go down, the game's dead. There's like no content. Midnight Club, keep. I like Midnight Club. I love Mega Solid. Hell yeah. Now here, I got Prototype on 360 and Prototype on PS3. So I think the PS3 version is going to be in the cell pile. I think this might be worth a bit because of Ico. Shadow Cloth has been re-released on PS4. But I don't know about Ico, so I'm going to hold on to that one. Last of Us, I don't like it. I don't care. Little Big Planet, I also don't like you. There's one and two gone. Do I need this Disney stuff? I mean, Lego stuff. I don't want that. This one's a maybe. Have I got it on 360? I've got Avengers on 360. Um, I'll keep this one. Hey Potter, you're gone. Let's go into the cell pile. Yeah, Jones, Lord of the Rings, Jurassic Park, um, Star Wars, they're going. Plus I got the Jurassic Park on the 360. All right, bit of room, looking good. Ow. That's a keep, I really like that game. In that series. Not really big on horror. And it's got some first person shooter parts, so that can go sell. Hopefully it's worth a bit. Infamous one and two. I don't think they've been re-released. They're their keeps. Hellboy. This is an interesting one. Right now it's very dark. As in it's hard to fucking see. Um I'm gonna sell. I'm not going to get around to it. If you're rain, that got re-released. I'm going to hold on to it for now, though, because I really like it, and I paid big money for it back in the day. Grand Turismo 5. Driver. Have I got you on 360? Mm, I don't. I want um, Parallel Lines. That's the one I want. Where he's, like, in a coma. Catherine. That got re-released, so I'll upgrade one day. I got... Beyond, whoop, Beyond Two Souls, Special Edition. I got this on release day. This is Glader's Edition. Oh, Special Edition, sorry. Um, man, it was pricey. Let's have a little look. Actually, it's not, because I've only got one hand. I really like those games. 
which is also why I got um, Until Dawn. I need to get the Detroit Becoming Human, but it's on PC, so I'm kind of like, eh. Blur, that's really good. That and Split Second are very underrated. And Alice Madness Returns. I don't know if this is a sequel. I know it's worth a bit though. Hmm. I'm not going to get around to playing it. And I'm not that big in Alice stuff, so go on. Now, we're around here. Too Human, I wanted to play that. I've heard the bad things, but I don't care. Tetris is just Tetris, it's useful. Terraria on 360. Uh, that's probably been re released, hasn't it? I don't need it. Playing game, don't need it. Oh shit, do I have this on 360? Oh damn, I've got a PS3 and 360. Damn, it's here. Alright, the PS3 version is going. You're gone. And gotta keep. Uh, this isn't, I thought this was an RPG. It's a Warriors game. I probably should have just looked at the back a bit more. So, not keen on that. Lost Odyssey, I'm keen on playing, I haven't played it. Mm, wanna play, wanna play. I don't really need that. This is, this one's a tricky one. Hitman HD Trilogy. I think this is worth a bit. But I'm not that big on Hitman. Uh, I can go. Flat out, ultimate carnage. I've got burnout. No. Enslave Odyssey to the west. I need to look at this on PC or not. Oh, it's a uh, X rental. And Ant 3, I would like to keep that. It's Microsoft's go at snowboarding. Bit of room. The Switch. All of this I think is keep. I don't think I would be selling any Switch stuff anytime soon. Yeah, it's all keep. Wii U stuff. Mm. That's probably all keep. I mean, this is obsolete with the Switch version and all the extra content, which is really annoying. But I don't like getting the DLC stuff on Switch or how Nintendo do accounts, so. I'll just hold on to it for now. Alright. We're up to Wii. Wii Sports, Wii Motion Play, We Play, Wii Sports Resort, Smash Brothers, Two Monkey Balls, are you going to like that? Spider Man will keep these two. Can probably go. I mean, I kind of want to try this out. It looks decent. It's Capcom. That's what made me get it. Non-stop two-player co-op mayhem. It looks like a mm, what's a twenty-six shooter, but maybe it's not. I'm, I want to play it, which isn't what the purpose of this is. But it's just, I want to try it out first. This can go though. I would like the three hundred and sixty version instead, preferably. So you're going. Annoyingly, I had Pikmin 1 on Wii as well, and I fucking sold it because I liked 2 more, and the 3 was excellent. Should have kept it. Um, I feel like No More Heroes got re-released, but I'm not sure. Metroids will keep... Do I need these? I don't think I do. They're a bit... They're a bit kiddie looking. You know, and I've got the Lego ones, and I've got Ultimate Alliance. Yeah, I don't need these. Look at Wolverine. Jesus Christ. And the eyes. Yeah, no. They're gone. Okay, Mario Party 9 keep. Mario Kart, I didn't like that Mario Kart, but I'll keep it for now. Now these... 
I don't need that. This is Clone Wars. I think there's two Clone Wars Legos. One's like some clone army or something. I can't remember now. This has some RT, RP, um, RTS elements. Or some sort of mode, I think. I might hold into that one. But I'll get rid of this one, though. Spyro. Don't care for it. Harry Potter. You're gone. Gonai, I keep. Okay, here's a few to get rid of. Green, Green Lantern. This is probably okay-ish, considering how bad the movie was, but it can go. We got Donkey Kong Jet Race, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I had that on GameCube. I had the single play one. I had the, the Diary version one as well. Oh, here's Parallel Lines, but I want on 360. I kind of want to keep it because it's MA. There's not many MA games on Wii. But if I get the 360 version, then I'll look up reviews and differences, comparisons, and then make my choice. Crash. I don't care about Crash. That's a sell. Call of Duty. Man, I don't like it. But I'm like, oh, it's like, you know, MA game on Wii. And it's mostly kind of kiddie-ish stuff. So I got World of War. Modern Warfare and Call of Duty 3. They are going to the cell pile. Along with this little pile. With Quick Over, we got Crash, Green Lantern, Order of the Phoenix, Half Blood Prince, that's X Rental, Spyro Eternal Knight, Star Wars Lego Complete Saga, Lego Indiana Jones. Ugh. Now, we got Cooking Mama, Big Brain Academy. This is an interesting Batman game. Rather than Bold, the video game. I would like to just probably hold on, to that, hold on to that for now. This I wouldn't mind just messing with. I don't quite know. I didn't get into it as a kid, but I wouldn't mind playing that a little bit. I'm on Crossing as a keep. All my Ganku games are keeps. Luigi's Mansion I just got. Um... Probably, shoot, probably 3DS version would be better, but whatever. Random Micro Machines, I could I could sell that, I don't care for that. James Bond, Tazza 2, Smash, WarioWare, Hell Yes, um, 1080, and Turok Evolution. That is mostly my childhood, right there. Now, oh, this was a cell pile. I think this is the last cell pile. Let's have a quick look. Fallout Ultimate Carnage, Hitman HD Trilogy, Ace Combat Assault Horizon, 99 Nights, Sega Mega Drive Collection, good on 360. Battle Station Specific, Terraria, Alice, this one's worth a bit, like 40. Gaffin, that's been re released, but not worth much. Uh, Hellboy, Signs of Evil, hopefully, hopefully it's worth a little bit. And Jericho, being horror, hopefully it's worth a little bit. So let's have a quick look. I've decided I'll keep. Enslaved, obviously to the west. Um, it's on PC, but I mean, it replays better with a controller, so I'll keep it. And the Project Snowblind, also on PC. Um, might hold on to it though, because I feel like it might. This is, it's at a certain age where it might be. Maybe it's hard to get, maybe it doesn't run very well, you know? Oh, I've got it on Steam. <laughs> I didn't even know. And it's also a $1.20. Two. 75% positive. Mm. Actually, I'll sell it then. I've got it on Steam. Alright, so keep. Sell. Alright, now it's sorted. So, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch, DS, 3DS, random PS3 games that I can't fit anywhere. <laughs> 360, 360, Xbox One, PS4, Ratchet and Clank, PS1, PS2, PS3, in random order at the moment, not in alphabetical, and then OG Xbox. I think it looks better, and like, I don't know, let's, even if 
after fees and postage, let's say I got five bucks each for these, right? So 73, oh, there's two more here, 75. So say I got five bucks each after fees and postage, that's 375 bucks. Which, I mean, that's like what, half of an Xbox Series X? Plus any more room. I don't know, it's tricky. Like, uh, do I want an Xbox Series X? I really want to play the Time Splitters and see like how they upscale and do that. But then I could just do emulator. And then I don't have a PS4 yet, but PS5 can play PS4 games. And I'd like to play those games, but then I want to play Ratchet Clank games in order. <laughs> this is, there's too many games and not enough time. Peace out.